Hello, this is Rebecca, the Steampunk Planner. And today is Spadina Rose by Ferris Wheel Press for day 10 of October's Inktober that I am doing. So here is the look of the bottle. This does not have a shimmer, and yes, I'm hoping you didn't fall out of your seat. It is pink. I know. I know. But it's not a normal pink. And honestly, my husband th felt it looked more like a, a strawberry. But the reason I chose this one, well, there's a couple. One, Yes, I admit, you have to have some pink in your colors. I use, when I'm painting and everything, you have to do flesh tones, so there's going to be pink. But this, to me, is more of a old-world muted pink. And with that, I don't mind it. I'm sorry to those who love Barbie pink and, honestly, Pepto-Bismol pink. And yeah, it makes me sick. But I love this. Now, in Ferris Wheel Press tradition, the ink is very fluid. So if you're wanting this to be a really good writing fountain pen, I would recommend using extra fine or fine. That way, it will probably go down more like a medium than if you did a medium and you have a lot of shadowing. Now, if you love shadowing, this is perfect for you. And then I would recommend a medium to even a snub nose um, and broad because it would show this ink off beautifully. So, I'm going to do a Zen Tangle that's a little different. I've discussed that Zen Tangles can be a pattern, like a quilt, or it can be multiple designs, or even a drawing. I want it to go along the ends of a drawing to show off this pen more so than doing a Zentangle. I could have done a regular Zentangle pattern, but instead I am going to stay with the flower motif that I started on the other two pages. And this one is going to be a Zentangle of pods. Now there are different types of pod designs. In more of a Art Deco type of look, you're going to see either double or triple pods. This one is going to be a single, and it's just going to be the pods themselves. So I'm going to be doing multiple different lengths and different sizes. This is what a pod is. It is similar to what you would see a rosebud except for pods will be will not be straight up and down in most cases but that's always up to the designer too because you can make these your own making sure to give it shape I am putting a little bit of lines in here I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just so that you can see everything because I am going to add a little bit more at the end. Now I'm not going to show you how I'm doing all of that because um, it's just following what I have already created. But I'm going to be using my 0.5 Sarasa Zebra Pen in Bordeaux Purple. I love that word, Bordeaux. But um, most Zentangles I've seen, they will be outlined in black and then colored in. Well, this one is going to take a little bit of a different look. And that is, I'm going to use 
the spadina rose is the color and it's going to give me some beautiful shadowing in here. I am very impressed with the overall look at the end. But then I'm going to use the Bordeaux purple instead of black to really bring out some detail in this. I hope you like it and if you are looking for a muted pink, this is definitely one I would rec recommend. Sorry, I'm still kind of working off of not feeling too great yesterday after my neck treatment. And again, I will let you know more about that in a different video. I will state that when I'm talking about treatment, I am not talking about needing uh, the fact that I have cancer or anything like that. I do not want to take that away from those who are going through something a little bit more difficult than I am. So a shout out to family and friends. I'm so glad that you guys are doing well after the hurricane. Here's how it looks now with the outline. Take care, stay safe, I'll see you tomorrow.